This is Greg Fisher. I'm uh, here at Maastricht University uh, in the laboratory of Ron Heron. And uh, Ron, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. All right. And uh, first, I'd like to know why imaging mass spec and tandem mass spectrometry is important for the studies that you're doing here at M4I. Well, at M4I, what we try to do, we try to bring together different mass spectrometry-based imaging modalities. And as you see in the literature, there are many beautiful images we can uh, produce, but very often there's a major need to identify which the compounds is, which the compounds are, and hence tandem mass spec imaging comes in. So we do a lot of that, um, and it's particularly important in our clinical studies. What we're trying to do here is set up a facility for translational molecular imaging, where the imaging studies give us insight in certain markers that are related to disease, disease progression, and disease staging. But once we find the markers and we can distinguish those, we of course want to know what they are, hence tandem mass spec imaging. What, uh, in all of the research that you're doing, what role does TOF SIMS play? Well, TOF SIMS provides us for really one unique capability, and that is extreme spatial resol resolution. Extreme spatial resolution combined with molecular information in the low molecular weight range. So in our case, we use TOFSINS particularly for metabolic imaging, looking at drugs and metabolites in tissue sections of sometimes preclinical models, sometimes patient models, uh, to study drug delivery and how patients respond to these type of treatments. Um, in addition, Using the high resolution allows us to establish the high spatial resolution of SIMS, allows us to establish where certain drugs end up in cells. Now in M4I, as I mentioned, we are bringing together many multimodal imaging capabilities, and among others, we also have interest in cellular features, cellular progression related to regenerative medicine, a technique where you use your own body cells to fix problems that you might have or to treat diseases. Well, in order to understand that, we need to understand these molecular signaling processes at the cellular level. Well, with the resolution of the SIMS, of the TOF-SIMS particularly, we can actually get those type, that type of information. And what we do here, we combine the morphological information with the EM, the electron microscopy, with the molecular information SIMS offers us. And the target that we have is that we're doing that in 3D. And with the combinations that we have here on the nanotof, where we can sputter, measure, and sputter, and measure, we can make 3D reconstructions of individual cells that are relevant for the diseases that we study. So in other words, it's not just about the molecular distributions in two dimensions, but it's really about molecular distributions in three dimensions at the cellular level. And then again, there comes the identification issue. We can already generate beautiful three-dimensional molecular volume, but we really don't know what we what these molecules are. So we think we know, we don't really know. And with this instrument, that is actually changing. So um, for the last two weeks, of course, uh, we've been here installing the uh, tandem MS capability, the parallel imaging MS, MS capability on your nanotof. And can you, um, so this is the first one in the world, actually. So what specific advantages would that bring in addition to the top sims capability. So the specific advantages of the tandem mass spec capabilities that we have with this new nanotop. Um, first of all, the big advantage is we're the first ones. So the big advantage here is that we get to publish all the cool papers, uh, so, but that might not be useful from a PR public perspective. <laughs> but for us, that's a big advantage. Now, all jokes aside, um, the big advantage of tandem mass capabilities is that we it gives us identification capabilities, and it gives us an incredible signal-to-noise in MS2. That means it also is a way to get rid of a lot of the chemical noise. It's an advantage. And the third major advantage I see is that we can do it, the, the, the way it's set up, doing it in the nanotof 10 MS, we don't give up MS1 capabilities. In all normal SIMS 10 MS experiments that are out there, and there are not many out there, but you have to throw away all of your ions to get to the one specific ion that you want to do tandem mass spectrometry on. Here, we measure all ions, and on top of measuring all ions, we do one experiment in tandem MS. So we get, in parallel, we get two data sets, where we get all the information we would normally throw away, we still get it, and we get the identity of the species that we're interested in. 
So do you think that um, the Tofsim's parallel imaging MSMS capability um, is your research focuses on clinical studies, drug delivery, oncology, things like that. What about in a broader context? Do you see this capability more applicable in a broader materials context as well? Oh, absolutely. So what you have to realize here at the Brightlands Maastricht Health Campus, we have a strong collaboration also with, for instance, uh, biomaterial sciences and companies that are actually interested, have an interest in surface analysis of these complex biomaterials or polymer surfaces. For instance, here very close by at the Brightlands Camel Campus, we have DSM. DSM is one of the major polymer manufacturers here in the Netherlands and they just started a big research program at the Brightlands Campus there on materials for regenerative medicine. There is a very large interest in the material surface science aspect for those type of studies. So that means that we're going to employ instruments like this to study the biomaterials there, look at oxidation of surfaces, look at interfaces, uh, look at uh, oxidation at interfaces, look at how materials interact with living systems. And on top of that, there are the standard coatings, etc. So there's a much broader interest in that. Another example is an example in food sciences. We have a collaboration here with one of the major food companies here in the Netherlands, and they have an interest in emulsions. Uh, of course, we could already analyze what happens at the interfaces in emulsions for, let's say, oil and water, but now we can also identify the compounds at those interfaces. So when we move to the 3D tandem MS imaging, that will open up a whole new world of applications, and those applications we try to target here. And we're in a good position because we have the first one in the world, so that will help us uh, move the field ahead. Great. Well, thank you, Ron, for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. You bet.